Hello everyone, my name is Anna and you're watching Book Sawyer and today I'm going to be showing you this ginormous June 2019 book haul. So two days ago I went to Barnes & Noble which is a lovely bookstore I'm sure you've all heard of. Um, and I picked up um, a bunch of books um, with some money that I had gotten because of a special event during this year in which I received some money and so I paid for everything in this haul with my own money um, and I'm just really excited to show you what I got because I got some really awesome books and I just can't wait to show you so stay tuned. So the first book that I bought d d with this book haul is Romanov by Nadine Brandes and I'm really sorry if I said your last name wrong but I'm really excited for this book because um, if you didn't know I love Anastasia. I was really lucky to see the original Broadway cast of the musical in I think April of 2017 like a little after it opened. It was either April or I think it was May. April or it was May of 2017 a little bit after it opened um, and so I obviously love Anastasia so much. It's such a wonderful story and this is um, a retelling of that. It follows Anastasia in which she likes to be called Nastya and it has some fantastical elements to it. Apparently she has to like carry a spell with her and it's really interesting and I'm really excited because this is just a retelling of one of my favorite stories and so I'm just really excited to read it. So the next book that I bought on this excursion is The Nightingale by Chris and Hannah and I feel like I'm so behind on picking this up. So many booktubers absolutely love this book and I've just been meaning to pick it up. So. Um, it's about two sisters who are trying to escape German-occupied France during World War II, and I haven't really read that much World War II historical fiction, but it is one of my favorite areas to read about, and so I am really excited to um, dive into this, and it is a big book, but I am excited and ready to read. So the next book that I bought at Barnes & Noble is Bear Town by Frederick Backman. I have heard some really phenomenal um, things about this book. Um, and just a warning, um, it describes in the synopsis that um, a trauma occurs um, to a, a girl, which I will describe in the synopsis in a moment, but um, I'm not exactly sure what that trauma is and I don't really want to know because it doesn't like specify so I want to be surprised, but um, I, would, I am going to leave a link to the Goodreads page for this book so if you are um, triggered by anything so you can check out some reviews and figure out what that is. Um, so apparently this follows the story of um, a hockey team that's about to have like their junior ice hockey game and this really traumatic incident happens to a young girl and sorry there's a storm outside um and so this book is something that I've heard some really awesome things about so many people have loved it and I just am really ready for a hard-hitting contemporary so I'm really excited so the next book that I bought is all the bright places by Jennifer and I'm gonna say your last name wrong um yeah you can look at exactly how it's spelled because I am horrible at pronouncing names but so this follows two characters Violet and Finch and just a warning um by reading the synopsis there is a trigger warning for um like death of a family member and grief and it also seems like there might possibly be a trigger warning for su having suicidal thoughts and so just to know I don't like take that for my word but just reading the synopsis it sounds like there could be some of that in there um so it's about two people um named Finch and Violet who meet at the top of a tower and they I think they fall in love but I'm not really sure I'm really excited to read this um, to figure out more about it I know it's gotten some mixed reviews but a lot of people have really liked it also so I'm, I'm really hoping I'm one of those people so the next book is with the fire on high by Elizabeth Avasado and I'm sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong again but so this is the author of the poet X and I haven't read the poet X but um, this book the synopsis really intrigues me so it's about a girl who um, was pregnant as a teen as a freshman in high school and that's um, so it's something that I haven't really read about in a book yet because um, I feel like that's not really talked about it's kind of teen pregnancy is kind of like a taboo topic that um, not a lot of books have really talked about and that you can start to see a little bit of that beautiful hardback um but so this follows a girl who was pregnant as a teen and now she has a little girl and she wants to pursue her dreams of becoming a chef but that's kind of hard because she has to balance being a senior in high school and having a child and I'm really 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 intrigued to see this because again I haven't read anything about a character who um is a teen mother and I really think that it's 
like I think that everyone should be represented in literature including obviously teen pregnancy and so I'm really excited to see this representation and can I just say this cover is absolutely beautiful like the girl on this cover is like stunning and it's it's fantastic so yeah I'm just so excited to read so this. the next book is Far From the Tree by Robin Benway and I'm really excited to read this I have the cover is beautiful first of all and I've heard some that some really really fantastic things about this book so it's about three twins I don't know if they're twins or just siblings but they're siblings Grace, Maya, and Jaquin and apparently they were all adopted into separate families but they don't know each other exist and so I've heard this really um tackles like a lot of the difficulties of being an adoptive child and I haven't read anything like that so I'm just really excited to read this and give it a so go. The next book is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. I have not read a Lee Bardugo book but I really want to maybe this will be my first Lee Bardugo book I'm not sure but um so I really love comic books and superheroes and so I have been meaning to get my hands on this series and although you can read them in any order I would like to read them in publication order just because why not and I love how you can it says like DC icons on there and the cover is really pretty and the spine so I'm really excited to read this um so it's I think it's just the origin story of Wonder Woman but I'm just really excited to read it so the next book that I bought is The Wicked Deep by Shia Earnshaw and I'm really sorry if I said your name wrong again but so The Wicked Deep follows um the cursed town of Sparrow in which so many years ago um these three sisters were accused of witchcraft and so they were killed and so every year on like um, the anniversary of their death they take they like lure guys in like to seek their revenge and I it's having a little scary but you know I'm gonna give it a try um, and it just seems um, pretty interesting it's unlike anything I've read before and it's not too long of a book so I'm really excited to read it and yeah I'm just really excited and yeah <laughs> The next book I bought is Meet Cute by a whole bunch of different authors and so excuse the Barnes and Noble 20% off sticker but so this is an anthology that a bunch of popular authors like Danielle Clayton, Nina like Nina Lecour, um, Sarah Shepard, and Julie Murphy, Nicola Yoon, many, 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 many phenomenal authors have all collabed to write a book about a bunch of different um, scenarios in which couples meet for the first time. And I just think that's so cute. I'm a sucker for contemporary romance novels, and I'm just so excited to read this. And also, some of these authors I've never read from, and so I'm really excited to like get like a small taste of their writing style, and maybe I'll be inspired to pick up some of their books. <laughs> so I'm really excited and. So the yeah. second to last book that I picked up is The Night Circus by Erin Morgister. And so I, um, if you watch um, Hannah from A Clockwork Reader's videos, um, you know that she really loves this book. And she was one of the first booktubers that I ever watched. Actually, she was the first booktuber I ever watched. Like, I didn't know booktube was a thing until I saw her channel. And so I kind of feel like I have to pick this up and I have to read it. And I got it for free because Barnes & Noble has a, having a sale with um, paperbacks, like buy two, get the third free. And this one was the one I got for free and so I'm like I gotta read it and so I'm really excited to read it it's about like a circus that is but I don't really want to go into it knowing all that much but it's about a circus that I'm assuming is at night yeah so I'm really excited so the final book that I bought and which is one of my most anticipated releases is something like gravity by Amber Smith um Amber Smith is the author of the way I used to be which might very well be my new favorite book of all time and so I read that a, not a couple months ago. I read it during April break and I'm like, I'm so ready for this. I haven't read the last to let go yet, but I asked for it for my birthday. So I'm like hoping that I get that, but I might just read this beforehand, but I really do want to read the last to let go. But yeah, um, Amber Smith, I will read anything and everything she puts out. And so when I saw this like front and center at Barnes and Noble, I'm like must get. So I got it and I'm so excited to read so it. So that is all that I got at Barnes and Noble. I got like 11 books, which is so much books and I'm so excited I know my TBR don't back there that's like just my TBR back there is so full it's like three rows on one shelf and so I really don't need any more books but I think every single booktuber on booktube for the most part says that 
they shouldn't buy any more books and then buys more books anyway so yeah I'm I'm really really happy um, that I was able to spend my money on books and yeah I'm just really excited to read these I think I'm most excited for um, something like Gravity and Romanov and Beartown and um, with a fire and high and far from the street okay I'm, I'm, I'm excited for all of them honestly um, I'm just really excited to read all of them and I just hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. Bye!